Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock the 4.0 firmware for the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2nd generation, non-MC model, only MB model, and enable custom boot logo, multitasking, home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage. So make sure you have the latest version of iTunes, iTunes 9.2. I'll put that download link down in the description. And enough time for this. So for iPod Touch users, make sure that you don't have the MC model for this jailbreak. You can do that by going to your settings, then going to general, then about, and then down to model. It should say MC or MB. If you have MC, you can't continue with this jailbreak. If you have MB, you can continue. So, okay. If you don't have 4.0 firmware, go ahead and update it on iTunes. It takes about 30 minutes or so. It backs up and restores your iPod or iPhone. So don't worry about that. And if you're already on i on the 4.0 firmware, you want to go and download the links in the description. So this is a firmware download. So go to here and for the iPhone 3G, go to iPhone 3G 4.0. For the iPod Touch 2nd Gen, you want the 4.0 right here. Download it. Then download Red Snow from this website. Go down to download links and install it according to your system. So you want to do this after you updated it or if you're already updated. And drag it to your desktop. If you get the zip file for the firmware, you want to rename it. Delete the .zip and put dot IPSW enter then click yes and it should look like this Lego block thing so after that make sure everything is good and you want to go ahead and run red snow by right clicking selecting run as administrator then browse for the IPSW file or in this case the Lego block then go ahead and open it up so it's successfully identified. If you have an iPod Touch, it's going to ask you if you have the MC model or not. If you do, then select yes. That way it won't let you continue because then you can damage your iPod. And if you don't have it, then go ahead and click no and it'll let you continue. So we'll click next. Then it's going to give you a list of options that you want. So, of course, if you're jailbreaking it, you're going to obviously want to install Cydia. And then verbose boot is basically, when it boots up, it's going to show, like, white letters or words telling you what it's doing. Then custom boot logo, it explains it here, 320 by 480 RGB or grayscale format, and it has to be limited to 100 kilobytes. Enable multitasking, home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage. Battery percentage didn't work for me, but there's something in Cydia that you can download that lets you have that. Home screen wallpaper, basically you can have the, your lock screen picture as your wallpaper or different ones for each one. For things, it will work, so don't worry, it's not permanent or anything. So go ahead and click next. Now you have to turn off your device and make sure it's plugged into your computer. So. Okay, and now it's turning off. Okay, and now when you click next, it's going to give you a series of instructions that you're going to have to follow, uh, like three steps. The first one, I think, is hold the power button for three seconds. Then the second one is hold the home and power button for about ten seconds. And the third one is hold the home button for 30 seconds or something like that. And then you're basically finished and then they'll do its stuff. So here we go. Don't worry if you accidentally let go for a second or two. It's not going to do anything bad. So here we go. And next. I'm going to do counts down for you. Basically, we're putting it in DFE mode. It's pretty easy.
So now you can go ahead and let go. So it's working. Don't worry if you're jailbreaking it again, like it's already jailbroken and you're jailbreaking it again. Because I've already done this for about six times today, trying to make this video. Now it's rebooting and it's finished, so go ahead and click that. Basically, everything's going to take place on your device now, so you can go ahead and disconnect it if you want to. And if you get stuck during the process or anything, don't worry, you're not going to have to restore it. You shouldn't. Just hold the home and the power button for about 10 seconds. Should reboot your device and you would be all good. Just try again. And now it's going to reboot, so go ahead and plug it. It's kind of like the iPhone 4 in a way because it has like the same wallpaper and multitasking, stuff like that. So you won't need to download Backgrounder, which is pretty good. And so now it's done. As you see, the wallpaper and then the the lock screen wallpaper, then the wallpaper, they're both the same. Um, if Cydia is like a blank white icon, don't worry, just open it up. It's going to reorganize. Then um, after you finish and you exit out, it should be okay. If you double tap, you can multitask. And so if you shift to the left you can start playing your iPod it will take about like a while for it to start up so yeah it's gonna let me go ahead and show you how to unlock it now so so once it loads up go to manage sources and it's gonna come with the source repo 666.ultrasnow.com the O in snow is a zero it all rhymes if it doesn't come with it don't worry just add it here we go, I have it on my notepad. Like that. And so when you tap on it, it's going to have Ultra Snow, which lets you unlock it. So, yeah. It only works for a specific baseband. I'm not sure. Um, I'll try to find out. Then I'll put it down in the description with all the links and basically everything that I said in the video. So, hope you guys really enjoy this. I'm making a new video and about today, might upload it today about what it features, the 4.0 firmware. 
So comment, rate, and subscribe. Have fun, guys. Bye.